Hi everyone, welcome to our new show called Yeah Dunno Mate, where we answer questions where your best answer is Yeah Dunno Mate. Today's question, why is vaping actually bad for you? Let's start with what's inside of that, and just for reference, we're only talking about these bad boys for today. So the basic idea of a vape is you blow in air from here and out comes vapor. Oh, this one's dead. <laughs> Fuck. Every vape has a battery, a rag that's soaked in flavours, chemicals, all the rest of it, the filter, and the bit you suck. So there's four main reasons why vaping's bad for you, right? Vaping companies are all owned by cigarette companies and, and they're all evil. Uh, second is vaping has some really toxic stuff in you, so when you vape it, that's bad. Uh, third, vaping causes lung issues, and uh, fourth is nicotine bad. Now on that first point, actually for our example, these ones aren't actually owned by cigarette companies. They're owned by a much more lenient boss. Yes, it's Xi Jinping, or as the ones closest to him call him, Emperor. And yes, shockingly, they're not great to the workforce, but you know, what made in China is. So, it's not really a point against them if you're still using your iPhone, you know? Now the second reason people bring up is that vaping causes lung damage. And the best answer I can give you for that is maybe. Yes, there have been some vaping related deaths, but that's usually because someone's trying to add a THC into it, or they've tried to recharge the battery in some sort of DIY Michael yeah. Reeves video. But does vaping cause long-term damage? Maybe. Um, look, it's definitely better to gulp down air, but um, there's no definitive proof yet. Keyword being yet. Now the third reason is that the things that you're vaping in a vape are actually toxic, right? That's a little bit of a lie. Basically there's chemicals in vapes like VG or PG that yes, are used in things that you definitely shouldn't eat, but they're also used in things that you very much can eat. So if someone ever tells you, you're vaping paint thinner, that's bullshit. But the problem is, no one in history has ever tried to vaporize these chemicals and then inhale them. So I can't tell you they're good for you, <laughs> but there is one thing in them that I know is bad for you, and that's reason number four, nicotine bad. Yes, it fucking is. A full cigarette pack has somewhere between 120 milligrams and 200 milligrams of nicotine in it. This thing has 500 milligrams of nicotine in it. Also, the deadly dose of nicotine within one sitting is estimated to be somewhere between 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams. So, between these two lies death. But hey, let's say you smoke a lesser amount, right? Nicotine is still considered one of the most addictive substances on earth, right up there with meth. Yeah, Editor Tom here, uh, just re-watching that one. That's a bit of an overstatement. Um, <laughs> guess the head spins have got to me there. Um, yeah, it is addictive, but it, meth, yeah, that's a, that's a bit high. And getting a whole new generation addicted to nicotine, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, and also, don't use the argument that these things aren't targeted at children. No one tries to advertise to an adult by calling something passion fruit mango lime with graffiti on the logo. Alright, so let's talk solutions. The current solution by the New South Wales government is just a complete ban on all nicotine vaping products. How's that working out? Pretty shit. Um, I mean, I've somehow got them. Like, it's probably harder to buy high doses of Nurofen than it is to buy one of these, right? For those of my audience who don't understand how buying a vape works, here's an example. Your average airshade walks down the road, right? Old school uniform, Adidas track suit, and a haircut specifically designed to piss his mother off. All he's got to do is walk into his nearest TSG and buy a vape. There you go, mate. Uh, you got vape, just now the excuse that any good TSG will give you is they don't sell vapes with nicotine in them. Slight issue with that is that they give you the pamphlet straight from the iGet website to choose what vape you want. Although I'm sure that they don't know that there's any nicotine in them. And they've all got nicotine in them, right? They're not those. Yeah, they all do. Oh. Whoopsies. If the solution to vaping is to outright ban them, it might help if you actually enforce the law. Look, I get that police officers have a lot going on, but if this undercover detective can figure it out, I mean, come on. 
It's not even like you have to do some investigative journalism to do anything. It says vapes on the door. Not only that, they're literally three minutes walk away from the police station in the super secretive hideout of Westfield Chatswood. Oh, and just to add a cherry on top of that, the current fine for being caught selling e-cigarettes with nicotine in them is $1,650. Seriously? Look, I know that that's 1,650 workers' paychecks, but come on, we could be a little harsher than that. The point is, whether you outright ban them like they've done now, or whether you legalise and tax the hell out of them like cigarettes, you've got to do something and you've got to enforce the law. Thanks for watching. That's all from me. Have a good one. Yes, it's the Chinese Communist Party, or as the Uyghurs would call them, the worst holiday camp runners you've ever seen. Yes, it's the Chinese Communist Party, or as the Uyghurs say, the one who knocks. Yes, it's the Chinese Communist Party, or as they call them in Hong Kong, sir.